Hello there and welcome to another checkmate pattern video this time around well one of the most important and fundamental checkmates there is the lawnmower or ladder mate and well we've even seen examples of this in the park champs it's been very important and I'm gonna dive right into it so most of you know it but we're gonna add some knowledge that's very important and well it will improve your attacking play as well so the basic pattern is you have two heavy pieces and you're trying to checkmate the king so you want to have the heavy pieces lined up next to each other and from there you will simply like a lawnmower you will just move either one filer at a time or one rank at a time which way you're going in this case we're going to choose the b and the c file it, it could as well have been the uh, second and third rank but we'll choose this one for the example so we're controlling the B file and we're controlling the C file. And the mechanism is quite easy. Once you have the heavy pieces lined up like this, you simply continue to uh, move like you're mowing the lawn. <laughs> Mow the goddamn lawn, that's what we do. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Rookie three, we take the E file. <laughs> so whenever you have the lawnmower, it's just king here we take the g file and here small care is uh, needed king h4 actually attacks the rook so when you have the two rooks be careful when your rook is attacked either you have to play a waiting move you can move the rook all the way over or we can make a waiting move like this and then mate so this is basically the lawnmower mate let's actually uh, give you some tips when you have a queen instead of the rook note that we, we could have done this a lot easier we're, we're just demonstrating the method uh, also if you have the queen if you have the queen and the rook you could have moved all the way up here you know take this rank and then follow up by, by taking taking uh, taking this one and then keeping the checkmate uh, actually here you will have to give check first and then checkmate uh, one thing to be uh, mindful of is that when you have the queen let's say we're uh, let's set the pieces up let's say we're trying to move up we have the pieces like this and black plays this move whenever you have the queen in front so we're using the the ranks now for the uh, lawnmower so we have the fifth a fourth and the fifth and we're going to take the sixth right here uh, the thing is when you have the queen in front like this you have to be careful because when you move the rook here it's actually stalemate this time around so this is a stalemate uh, situation that you have to be aware of so when you have the queen in front you have to be careful and you might just start by giving a check here then coming back here and then finally let's say it goes here we finish the lawnmower method same thing if you have uh, two queens so let's get a queen here let's place it somewhere like here here uh, get rid of the rook position like this and let's say it's black to move he moves here same thing if the queen is in front you have to be careful so don't if, if you're moving up you have the queens like this and you're moving up here here and this one here etc like this and this one here so if you're pre-moving pre this at the end of the game if your opponent uh, goes to this key square right here you have to be really careful so what you could do is same thing as with the rook you could uh, you could play queen check here and you could also just make this like sneak sneak attack sneak move this will expel the king here and then you can go on with your uh, with your lawnmower because now the lawnmower is landing with check so m many people call this lawnmower others uh, call this ladder mate because you're kind of taking you know one step at a time like a ladder so either one works and w whichever works for you and makes you remember it you know then, then use that one Anywho, this is uh, from Michel Kerr against Rain Wilson. And Michel, well, just started playing a month ago. Uh, she's playing in the Park Champs. And okay, she spent the move on taking this pawn, but after that, she did execute a perfect uh, 
lawnmower mate she's controlling these and she played rook e6 so you see that she's now taking the e file next she's going to take the d file you see where this is going take this check and then finally checkmate so this should be simple enough so this is the basic mechanism but uh, we're going to add to it a little bit because well this can be a very important pattern uh, when you're attacking and the first example we're going to look at is from a game by my friend the ginger gm simon kim williams simon I, I've, I've known about your kim middle name for a long time but he just learned that my middle name is thor recently so i should rock that a little bit thor the thunder god lawnmower so simon knew all about the lawnmower he took on f4 here and the idea is to open up the g file but why well very very sneaky he played rook b to g1 here and at the moment it doesn't look like the well doubling on the d file is doing much so his opponent a grandmaster played the move pawn to f3 tagging the rook but here simon uncorked his trap he's simply setting up the lawnmower takes on h7 and his opponent resigned he takes back the queen we're, con <laughs> we'll, we're definitely controlling the default but now we're also controlling the h file so look at that that's a checkmate and simon won a nice game now this very often the threat of, of the lawnmower or the ladder mate can be important in many many situations here black played d2 threatening to queen the pawn but he's saying okay you, you can take this but but then what and actually he's saying that he's, he's going to run his king and you're not going to get anything so rook takes king h8 but white has uh, a strong move here well actually he has a few strong moves but the clinical is rook uh, g to d7 because well we're blocking the d file and uh, there's no rook d8 and the threat of rook c8 checkmate decides the game because you don't have time to promote now because of this blockade so here we can just use the lawnmower mate and therefore black has to take the rook and now we win the pawn we win the game so the lawnmower mate helps there here is a rather well spectacular example that, uh, that i kind of spoiled uh, but it was set up like this white played uh, knight to f5 check we have to take because otherwise queen takes h6 pawn takes check king at seven and look at this queen takes h6 and then rook d3 so simply threatening the lawnmower mate and black has nothing to interpose he can even take <laughs> one more piece but there's no defense can't interpose anything so lawnmower mate we're going to keep going with with fun examples this one i saw quite recently and in this game black who well it should be doing okay here active king could maybe take some pawns uh start pushing his pawns but he took the wrong pawn he took this one and after white's next move he actually resigned the game well because he's walking into a lawnmower a ladder mate king to e2 check on the third rank he can't go to the fourth due to well unfavorable circumstances and look at this third Rook comes second, followed by Rook coming back. First rank, it's gonna be made. Lawn mower made, buddy. So let's look at a beautiful example by uh, Victor Pologan. Uh, great player, great guy. Met him many times, played him. Uh, been a teammate of his as well. Uh, here he combines the lawn mower mate and another mate that we, we, uh, we covered previously so-called arabian mate so if you're not aware of that do check it out on the card another well fantastic uh mating pattern and a very important one so bolgan took on g6 here and the idea is to open the fifth rank for the rook but why is that important 
Well, here he played the thunder move. The thunder move. Queen takes h5. Now black is completely lost after this. He could play this, queen takes, the game goes on. But I guess he was so impressed by his opponent's move that he allowed him to finish the job. Took the queen. And now knight f6. Beautiful. King here, immediately mate. King to the corner. Then we have the Arabian mate. Rook check. Bishop interposes. And we have this. Again, check out the video on the Arabian mate. But, Bishop takes f6. Allows Rook takes h5. Another great example of our our pattern, Blonde War Mate. Let's check this one. Black is in trouble. White has, well, some incoming checks. It looks risky. Where's our threat? Our queen can't come here. What's going on? Wait, the lawnmower, G file. This is almost exactly like Simon's uh, Blonde War Mate and Queen here. Beauty, 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 beauty. Sometimes we can use uh, pins to set up the lawnmower mate. Here the f2 pawn is pinned because of the queen. So rook takes g2, sets up a nice lawnmower right here. G file, mate's file, queen covering the rook. Another example of some desperation. Uh, and these are all from actual games. So, I mean, this, is, this happens a lot. Simple, rook takes a2. Has to take queen a5, b file and a file. And you can only interpose, I take, and it's mate. This one is quite nice, black to move. We all like queen sacrifices, don't we? Queen takes h4. If king back, we take the piece, completely winning. If takes, check. Nothing to be done. This is covered by the bishop, so we have to do this. Now rook takes, only move for the king, rook takes, taking over the g-file, and then moving the other rook over to uh, finish the job, the lawnmower. And, well, another simple one, we take this, and we give the mate. So, before I, uh, well, I have a puzzle for you, but I also have another fantastic example. So this was played in a game between uh, Vlad Kachev and William Watson. And William played the move king h8 here. Well, if he, if he plays king here, queen takes h7 probably. And it's a bit of a mess. But he went to the corner. Probably thinking, well, I'm going to move my rook here next. And then I'll shore up a king side like this. But Vlad Kachev gave him no chance to do that. Because he took on h7. And look at that. He's simply setting up a lawnmower on the G and the H files. And Black's pieces are so paralyzed that he can't do anything to uh, prevent that. So as you can see, this is both an important pattern when you're finishing the game. Uh, you're up a lot of material, you want to finish with the checkmate. Very often this happens with very little time on your clock. So, you know, knowing how to do this can be very important. And also being aware of the, the stalemate tricks I told you, the queen in the front and the two queens. Make the little hesitation move. This will el eliminate a lot of stalemates from your game. And finally, I'm going to leave you with a uh, puzzle by the great Lev Pologievsky. He had the white pieces here. The black king is kind of trapped here. But how can we finish the job? Settle the business. So tell me uh, the solution in the comments. What did Pologievsky play here? And yeah, what happened after that? It's one key move. So you can tell me the one key move and the second move. And while you're at it, like the video, always appreciate it. And hope to see you soon uh, with another video. Maybe, maybe some more patterns, but you know, we got the knockouts in the park champs. So I'm also looking forward to that and hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.